On October 26, 2024, Russian forces achieved a notable tactical victory by intercepting and capturing an American RQ-20 Puma drone in the Zaporizhia region of Ukraine. This advanced tactical reconnaissance model was taken intact, along with its entire electronic system, marking a significant gain for Russian electronic warfare specialists. The capture provides Russian military engineers and experts with an invaluable opportunity to analyze the technologies embedded in this drone, which is widely utilized by U.S. armed forces. The interception was executed by a specialized electronic warfare group that effectively neutralized the drone without damaging its critical systems. According to an anti-drone countermeasure expert, capturing the device intact allows for a thorough examination of its vulnerabilities, which Russian engineers can exploit to enhance their own defensive capabilities. The R-3 20 Puma, designed by Aerovironment, is a lightweight, hand-launched drone primarily employed for real-time battlefield surveillance and intelligence gathering. Its small size and low visibility make it a crucial asset in conflict zones where understanding enemy movements is essential. Since the onset of the conflict in Ukraine, the United States has supplied multiple batches of R-3 20 Puma drones to the Ukrainian military as part of its support efforts. A military aid package announced in April 2022, valued at $300 million, included these drones to bolster the observation and surveillance capabilities of the Ukrainian army. Consequently, the Puma has become a strategic tool for Ukrainian forces, enabling them to gather and relay information on Russian troop movements, particularly in areas where human access is perilous. In addition to the capture of the R-3 20 Puma, Russian forces also downed a Ukrainian drone known as the Baba Yaga during the same operation. This drone, utilized for reconnaissance and attack missions, was outfitted with a Starlink repeater and a munition dropping system, which allows Ukrainian forces to enhance their battlefield communication and execute precise strikes. The nomenclature, Baba Yaga, drawn from Slavic folklore, underscores the Russian perception of these drones as stealthy and formidable threats. Capturing this equipment further enriches the technological analysis for Russian engineers, providing insight into the innovations employed by Ukrainian forces and their Western allies. For Russia, these drone captures represent not only tactical victories but also crucial insights into the technological strategies of their adversaries. Recovering enemy drones like the RQ-20 Puma and the Baba Yaga enables Russian experts to analyze advancements in Western and Ukrainian technology, encompassing design, embedded software, communication systems, and electronic camouflage techniques. This knowledge could significantly influence the development of future Russian drone systems and enhance their electronic countermeasures. First deployed in 2008, the RQ-20 Puma has been adopted by various branches of the U.S. military, including the Army, Marine Corps, and Air Force. It boasts a maximum takeoff weight of 5.9 kilograms, a wingspan of 2.8 meters, and a maximum speed of 83 kilometers per hour, depending on its configuration, the Puma can travel distances of up to 15 kilometers with a flight endurance of two hours. Its array of sensors, including an electro-optical camera and an infrared sensor, enables discrete and continuous surveillance, with live video feeds transmitted to ground stations for immediate analysis and rapid decision-making. Designed to withstand extreme conditions, the RQ-20 Puma operates effectively within a temperature range of minus 29 to 49 degrees Celsius, can endure winds up to 46 kilometers per hour, and functions in precipitation rates of up to 25.4 mm per hour. This resilience has made it a preferred choice for reconnaissance missions across diverse terrains, including deserts, mountains, and urban environments. The versatility of the Puma is evident in its various variants and upgrades. The enhanced Puma version features a more powerful engine and upgraded batteries, extending its endurance to 3.5 hours. The Solar Puma incorporates solar cells, further extending its operational autonomy to 9 hours. The latest variant, the Puma 3AE, is optimized for maritime operations, capable of landing on both water and land, thus meeting the needs of amphibious and coastal missions. This incident underscores the growing importance of drones in modern warfare and the intensifying competition for cutting-edge military technology among global powers. Furthermore, it highlights the critical role of reverse engineering in contemporary conflicts. The ability to capture and analyze enemy technology has emerged as a pivotal issue, reshaping the balance of power on the battlefield. As military technology continues to evolve, the implications of such captures will resonate deeply within the strategies of both Russian and Western forces.